Today, we are going to look at a body vis brain builder about the lymphatic system and lymphoma. The lymphatic or lymphoid system is functionally a part of the cardiovascular system. The lymphatic system transports and monitors a fluid called lymph. Lymphatic vessels carry the lymph from the periphery to the lymphatic system, and then ultimately to the veins of the cardiovascular system. Lymph is composed of interstitial fluid, macrophages, and lymphocytes. The three functions of the lymphatic system are maintenance of normal blood volume and elimination of variations in the interstitial fluid, an alternative route for transportation of waste, nutrients, and hormones, and finally, production and maintenance of lymphocytes. Lymphatic vessels only carry fluid from the periphery venous system and are wider in diameter, thinner walled, and possess more permeability than vessels of the cardiovascular system. Lymphocytes are cells of the lymphatic system and are responsible for specific or acquired immunity. This type of immunity is not inherited at birth. Rather, it is acquired over time following exposure to pathogens. Lymphocytes can be found within the lymphatic and cardiovascular systems, as well as within the interstitial spaces of the body. Lymphatic organs are encapsulated within a layer of connective tissue and are composed of tightly organized lymphatic cells. Examples of lymphatic organs include the tonsils, thymus, spleen, and lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are small encapsulated lymphatic organs located along the course of the lymphatic vessels throughout the body. Lymphoma is a general term applying to cancers that start in the lymphatic system. There are two main types of lymphoma. Hodgkin's lymphoma, which spreads in an orderly manner from one group of lymph nodes to another, and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which spreads throughout the lymphatic system in a non-orderly manner. Hodgkin's lymphoma is most commonly seen in teens and young adults, typically between the ages of 15 to 39, and then again in older adults, greater than 75 years of age. Next, we will look at the symptoms, causes, and treatments of lymphoma, and finally, give a patient example. The symptoms of a lymphoma, be it Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, are quite similar to the symptoms from other diseases. Symptoms include fever, night sweats, fatigue, swelling of the lymph nodes in the neck, armpits, or groin, and significant weight loss. Although the causes of lymphoma are unknown at this time, there are some links that statistically seem to indicate a higher chance of developing lymphoma. These include a family history of lymphoma, exposure to certain environmental triggers, including herbicides and pesticides, infection with HIV, certain viruses such as a human T-cell, lymphotrophic virus, and Epstein-Barr virus. And lastly, exposure to high levels of ionizing radiation. Treatments for lymphoma depend on the type and stage of the disease, as well as the patient's overall health. Treatments to try and annihilate the cancer cells can include chemotherapy, which involves using drugs to annihilate the fast-growing cells, radiation therapy, that uses high-powered beams of energy to kill cancer cells, a bone marrow transplant, or other treatments involving other drugs and options. Finally, let's take a look at a patient example. You receive your patient's file and take a look. Age, 77. Gender, male. Chief complaints, painful, palpable, swollen mass in the right axillary region. You step into the patient's room and ask about the patient's medical history. He has a history of a myocardial infarction two years ago, which was treated with the insertion of two coronary stents. The patient also has a history of persistent hypertension, fatigue, night sweats, pain, and itching in the area of axillary swelling, loss of appetite, and pain, accompanying movement of the right upper limb. A biopsy and other tests are performed. The patient's lab results show normal values for white blood cells, hemoglobin, and platelets. However, the CT scan confirmed the presence of an axillary mass and adenopathy within the axillary region, with possible extension into the neck. After the biopsy and histological examination, a diagnosis of a diffuse large 
B-cell lymphoma is made, and the other test results show a diagnosis of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. You discuss treatment options with the patient that include a chemo and radiation therapy. The patient agrees to the treatment, and the growth of the cancer is stopped due to the therapy. The patient lives normally with continuous surveillance. This is a classic example of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Want to see more 3D anatomy? Check out BodyVis 3D dissection software used to make this video, and patient case studies from real patients' MRI and CT scans. Click the link in our page to learn more.